that's also another review as I do not have the boarding that I normally have. This is going to be our new mat that we're going to have. And once again we're looking at a new locomotive. And it is the Hornby Class 86 in Freightliner. Heavy haul livery. As it should say on the side. It says nothing about that. <laughs> Yeah, it just says in Freightliner Bobo Electric. Really, really, I want to see. I want to see them say Freightliner Heavy Haul Livery. Yeah, but yeah, we got it from Trainrod, and one of my my, my mother bought it. So yeah, um, I will open it from this end as it's, to a lot of people it is easier. But the box has been invented on this side, so actually, nope, help me see. Badly. This end doesn't have any bent plastic. Bent thing. So, let me just check it out. Ooh, everything dropped out. Okay. I've got the instructions for Class 86. We can add that to the collection. I do not have a Class 86 yet. It's for DCC ready and DCC fitted. Operating maintenance instructions. Right behind the camera, so I can't have the video. Location, open the body, fitting where to put the digital decoder, the working panograph. The website did say it doesn't work, but going back to the box, I forgot to show you, it does have the uh, This locomotive was designed to be powered from the track or the overhead power supply due to recent improvements to the locomotive's track power supply connections it is not possible to independently operate two locomotives on the same track using the two power sources that state it, as stated in the homie catalog so yeah seems like they did do a bit of mo a modification to the pickups on the evening one of these pointless digital, um, drop it, <laughs> digital decoder, that it's totally pointless, so, um, and I only, I'm not putting this train to digital anyway, so, yeah, this one is pointless, totally pointless, so I just drop it there, with everything else, and yeah, the main part is the locomotive in the Freightline Heavy Haul livery, now, it's in the normal packaging, the normal polystyrene box. I thought they would have changed it by now and sorry about the door that you might hear. But yeah, oops, sorry. Um got the two holes at the back and it's very tight. <coughs> okay. One side's easier than the other. Okay. Oh god. And oops, drop the polystyrene, drop everything. Oh there goes the pantograph. But yeah. Uh, take away the tissue paper. And give it to the cat. No. <laughs> lock this. Lock it. Lock. Just stay out. Okay. Yeah, the pine glass start the gone down. It's actually a very nice model. If you look. Going into the distance. It has got no working lights. Sadly, this is Hornby you're talking about here. And this little connection here does show that it is um for, that's for panagraph. Track, Panaga, track. Just flew up again. Yeah, it's nice springy. Ouch. Oh crap. Um. Yeah. Panaga stuffed. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Um. Yeah. We. Uh. The Panaga stuffed. <laughs> uh. Just one more minute while I just fix the Panaga. Okay, I'm back and I have fixed it. Due to Hornby's silly idea about having the, uh, their rod just connect the oops, is that what's that down? Rod connected right next to the thing. So, these can just come right off after going jit 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 jit. Yeah. There it is. Basically, you move that back. This is all that does everything. So, this just has to go back onto the hole. And yes, I do want to show this to everyone because this does happen, it can happen. Oh god. 
hard when there's a camera line in front of you and trying to keep everything in the camera. Just pushing in like that. Like that. Okay, it's not a very good design. Actually, I would recommend to just uh, get a bit of blue shaggy. Not this much blue shaggy. You're not going to uh, cover with on the panograph. No. no. No, no, no. That's a dumb idea because do that, you're probably going to stuff up your model and probably waste the round of Whoops, sorry. I wasn't supposed to hit it. I'm just going to move to the side of the camera since. Uh, this will be easy to be done here. Okay, what I'll do is take it right off, move the panograph, put, uh, make the take a bit smaller. Yeah, sorry, Hornby, this is act uh, actually not a very good design you've put here. Well, oh, the locker looks nice. It looks very nice. Just the panograph has a problem too. So I had to, I'm doing this out of the camera because this is actually quite tough to do. Just to try to find the hole after there's blue tack right on top, right in front of the hole. So I will stop the camera again and please be white wolf for a cut race. One, two, three. Okay, after like three minutes just wasting my time fiddling with the model, I've actually fitted the blue tack into the clip. Right there. Oops. There goes the parting graph again. And there goes the thing. Yeah. It's a, just a bad sign. Very bad sign. So I recommend to either glue it on or pretty much not to use it. Yeah, not to use the parting graph. You could have a nicer detail, so be careful with it. Or else. Really job. Fuck, I didn't glue it down, but yeah. Okay. I'm gonna just lock the panograph down, so that would be the last of the panograph for the moment. <laughs> I will bring it up later, but yeah. Let's just go into the detail after that. Just such a waste of a time. So this is going to be a two-part video, sadly. It's got, um, oops, NEM couplers. Yes, it's got NEM couplers, that's a pocket. Well, it's a, ten, it's a, ten, it's a tension dog that fits in an NEM. This NEM actually just fit it to the locker, so... You can't take off the, the pocket like a normal NEM. It's got them on both sides. Non sprung buffers, sadly. This is not a super detailed model. A very movie box thing. I don't know what this is for. Just for detail. It's got all the wiring on top. It's in the nice right line of heavy haul livery. There's, there's nobody in there. What is running away, train? What? Why don't they put someone in there? I've got something there. Let's see if we can see it or not. Zoom into it. Whoa! OMG, my camera hates this. Some sort of warning or something. You could read it, can you please type it down into the description or if you have. Let me have a look with my bare eyes. It says LNWR. Fleet kilometer? What? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, as I said, this is the switch that uh, makes it go to panograph mode or d catch from the wheel. I'm not going to push that down because I have a headache from doing all this. But yeah, in sense, this is actually a nice model in a way, except for this. There goes the panograph again, just destroyed itself again. So, next up, it's right to the train track, and let's have a look at it. Why? Just to know, the, this specific model here, in real life, it is in service. It's in service in this livery. Number 
8637 is in service in real life and it's due right. so if you're in Britain that I'm not sadly you can actually still see this train running in real life I'm just thinking would it have been more worth it to buy a halogen one now because I at the store where I bought this one there was a halogen one as well in the same livery no in freight line livery not the heavy haul livery but yeah let's go off to the layout and after well after I fix this and let's see it run in five four three two and hey, one while my GP38 runs around the track no, I think it's a GPR. I think it might be. It could be a GP40, but. But uh, yeah. My digital locomotive. There's a digital controller though. And let's just rail our brand new Freightliner Class 86. That was pretty much. Well, pretty much a shop where we tested it, but they didn't run it in. Oh my god, oh my god, the panograph just popped up again. Forget it, as long as you don't touch it. So, going about 30 minutes in one way and 30 minutes in the other. Just to make sure that all the gearing inside the model has been, so the oil can run around the track. Okay, I just had to put the primer guard back on. Ooh, let's reverse it a bit so the camera can see it. Wow, it's a nice smooth runner. <laughs> Pretty much. All new model trains are all like a nice, all like, all are a smooth runner. Now, let's fetch the timer. The timer's set for 30 minutes. 30 minutes? Yeah, 30 minutes. And three, shut. For a electrical locomotive, that is mad. That's actually really fast. If you look at it between this and that, so much faster. So, so much faster. Okay, we'll be back in less than 30 minutes because I need to I want to show you another part, uh, something else that has just happened So, see you soon. Okay, now we have uh, finished up on our 30 minute period of running the first direction. So, we're going to stop the timer, we're going to stop it slowly. Whoa, what? That's not slowly, that's still speeding away. I'm going to stop it just right in front of the camera. Now, we just change directions, and off we go. Good thing is this has small bulgies, so pretty much we can run, run it anyways. We can run it any direction we want to, because it's got such small bulgies between the wheels. It's up. got the Bobo bulgies, not the Cocos. The Cocos are too big. It's a blue white, but yeah. I'll see you in the next 30 minutes. Oh, one second to you guys. One second to the train finishes. Okay. Let's stop the time. We don't need that anymore. We just stop it in front of the car. Whoa, it just died. What will be very nice is to make this look like a lone uh, train. So let's put this on a special train. Same carriages that have been used on these two, on the ones in the back that just passed. So I'll pick up these carriages. Wow, the motor's on fire. Let's get the local. I'm not in any way trying to turn this into a musical.
just singing, sing, sing, sing. Oh, 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 I just remember John do a couple of it again. We need the baggage. We need the baggage coach. We need the baggage coach. One second. Okay, where's the baggage coach gone? Don't tell me I put in that try. No, I didn't. Uh, here it go. Here it is. Let's put it in on the truck. On the truck. What? <laughs> What did I say? I said truck. I thought it was a whole new truck. Let's put the one special coach on there. The special rail tour coach. Also known as the Pullman Obs Observation Tower. From the Hornby USA Tour train set. With the rotating couple. Let's get it moving. And then here's some footage of it running. Thank you for watching this another coming down a night review video and this video uh, this um, train is quite very nice so I would recommend it to any freight liar pretty much any collector that's starting into the hobby because these are a big treat for me. But yeah, thank you for watching, hope to see you on my new videos or any of my new uploads or any of my new reviews or new uploads. I uh, hope to see you again soon. Goodbye.